Okay guys, we're gonna explore some place value review right now. Let's look at the meaning of place value. For place, we're really referring to the place of a digit within a number. And our value is what a number is then worth because we put it in that place. So let's take a look at what that really means using an actual example. So right here, we have the number 432. Well, in this number, four does not just mean the number four, and three is not just three on its own, but two is in fact two. So really, the four represents 400, the three equals 30, and the two does equal two, like we said. If I were to add each of these up, I would get this as an answer. We call this our standard form. And down here, as long as I put addition, there we go, addition symbols in, we call this our expanded form. So they both represent the exact same number, but one way we pull it apart into each of our place values and another way we put them together to make it a shorter and faster way to write our numbers. If we, let me try and get rid of those, use the same digits, but I put them in a different order. So I'll do reverse. My two is now no longer worth two. My three this time is still worth 30 because I did keep it in the tens place. My four is not worth 400. Instead, we have two is worth 200, three is worth 30, and four is worth four. So based on where we put the digit in the number tells us what it's worth. So on this screen, I have a few of our different place values we're gonna work with today. There's many, many more, but we're gonna just focus in on a few of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort some of these based on how it's spelled at the end of the word. So you notice that some of them end with just an S in common and the other three on this side end with a THS at the end. So what does that tell us? Well, it's actually a great little clue for us as to what is the, um, where it comes before or after the decimal. That's what I'm looking for, that's what I'm trying to say. So anything that has just an S comes before the decimal. And if it has a THS, that's your hint that it comes after the decimal. So right here, I have my little decimal. And you can see these ones come after and these ones come before. So that's one little clue to help you is always look at the ending of the word because that can get really confusing when it asks you to identify the hundreds versus the hundredths or round to one of those and it has both of those in the number but which one's the right one. So let's look at this number. I have many different place values down here and we're going to try and line them up with the place value it's actually in. So I'm going to go slow through this because I want you to kind of think and not just give you the answers right away. So if I'm going a little slow, sorry, I want you to kind of guess the answers as I go. So this number is 234 and 567 thousandths. That's how we would say it. So let's first start with our two. What is the place value of our two? Well, first, before I even start, I can go ahead and already know that anything that ends with just an S should go in front of the decimal and anything with the THS goes behind. So our two is going to be our hundreds. What is this place value that is one, two jumps to the left of the decimal? That's our tens. What about the place value right in front of our decimal? That's our ones. Now sometimes you'll see numbers like this, 234, and you will not see a decimal at all. That doesn't mean there is no decimal. It just means because there's a whole number here and we don't have any change, we don't usually put the decimal. I like to call it the invisible decimal, and it's actually right there behind the last digit. So just because we don't write it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means we haven't done it because we don't have any actual digits after the decimal. So let's jump back in. R5, what's its place value? It's our tenths. What about our six? Hundredths. And what about our seven? Thousandths. So you'll kind of notice that excluding the ones, because there is no ones place at all, we kind of go backwards in the way we're going. So we have, instead of tens, we have tenths. 
And then as we get smaller, we actually jump to what we usually think is the bigger place values because we have those THS, it actually makes it smaller, We're breaking into more and more tiny pieces, the hundredths. So if I had my thousands over here, I have my thousands over here. If I had another place value here, it would be ten thousandths and so on forever and ever and ever. So let's go back over the order super fast as our last quick review. So we have hundredths, tens, ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths.